The Great Sacrifice Many years ago, the implementation of City Berkshire used to be King Snooper Wilbur. He had a daughter her name was Amelia. Amelia was very arrogant. Once day a priest has arrived to meet King Snooper Wilbur in palace. Amelia has stopped him and said, Hey, who are you, and what are you doing in the palace? She said to soldiers, Immediately get this beggar out. Priest said, Too much ego, you said to me a beggar, from today you will become a forest tree. He cursed her. In such a way, King Snooper came running and said, Please sorry, my daughter didn't know that who you are. Please take your curse back. By saying this he fell on feet a priest and Amelia too. Please forgive me, master. Amelia said and fell on feet. After that priest became calm and said, I can't take my cursed bake but I can tell you the way to be free. When you will become a tree you have to help well someone. Only then you can be free. But only you can give your jewelry donated. The soldiers and this palace will not able to help you. One thing more between this times if some cut off tree so you will be die. Saying this priest go bake and Amelia disappeared too. King Snooper was very upset and said to soldiers. No one should know about this topic in the state. Here Amelia turned into tree. Many days passed. But there was no one coming in that forest. Oh, no one is coming here whom I help and how I can be free to this cursed. God please help me. After some days a beggar came and sat under the tree Amelia think. It seems a beggar. If I help him maybe I'll be free from this curse. Just thinking this she threw all her jewelry in front of him. The beggar was surprised how this jewelry felling down from tree. Immediately he collects all jewelry and greets to tree and went back. Then he reached village and this incident spread in whole the village. Villagers thought the glory of this tree is immortal. They come to tree and worship. Hey, the queen of tree I want a lot of gold please give me, I am poor. Someone said. Give me diamonds and gold. People worship of tree poor Amelia didn't understand what to do. All of them thinking me as a miraculous tree and seeking boon to me. Now how can I help them? The jewels had already I have given. It seems I will remain a tree. Some days later two woodcutter came to tree with axe. One said to other. What are you thinking let's cut off? Other man said. No no this tree has very much glorious. First man said. You said that the wood of this tree is very precious. If you will sail its wood, so you will be able to treatment of your son. Other man said. I thought in any way I would cut it off. After coming here I am thinking if I'll cut it and then if we suffered in curse. The first man said. You are right if some upside down. Both were going back and Amelia said. Stop. They were both scaring because they hear tree is speaking, Amelia said. You said cutting off and sail me will save your son's life. Woodcutter scared and said. Yes please. Amelia said. So don't be afraid and cut off me and save your son's life. At least I'll be happy that because of mine save someone life. After listening this they started cutting tree. And Amelia felt so much pain that she could not afford. After all they cut the entire tree and Amelia died. Here Woodcutter saved his son's life by selling wood. Then he brought his son to cut tree and greeted. Here Amelia opened her eyes in palace room. She get up to bed and said. Oh what I am alive. In that moment King Snooper and Priest came to her then Priest said. I told you that if you help someone then you th will be free from cursed. But you have gave a great sacrifice put on your life in danger of that child so God returned your life. 
the King Snoper Wilbur was very happy. He blessed her and went away. After that day Amelia went to the people by herself and helped them when needed. So God will help if you work for someone needs.